Okay, so let's get it right into the video. This is going to be about Mandalorian Season 2, Chapter 6. Um, I've actually entitled this video Boba Fett and Mando on Tython. Um, so obviously, um, you know, the title kind of tells you uh, what you can expect here. Uh, but the opening scene, Mando and Grogu are actually approaching uh, the planet Tython. And they kind of get right into the story here. They don't um, tarry around with it too much. Um, actually, the Razor Crest comes in and he is not able to land right next to the Seeing Stone area. Um, so he has to land his ship away from it. And then he activates his, uh, Mando activates his uh, jetpack and basically carries Grogu up to the Seeing Stone area. Uh, when Mando very first puts Grogu onto the Seeing Stone, um, at first we don't really, you know, Grogu's not really too into trying to do much. Uh, but then eventually he starts to activate the Seeing Stone. And I'll tell you, this is something different than we've ever seen in Star Wars. Um, it, it creates almost kind of like a force bubble around Grogu. And... You know, there's later in the uh, the episode, um, you'll see um, some things start to transpire. Uh, but Mando tries to get Grogu back off of the stone because he senses danger, um, and he cannot get to Grogu because this force bubble. Um, it actually throws him back every time that he tries to get into the area where uh, Grogu is at. So then we see in the horizon. Uh, we see Slave One show up. So right away, you know, that's an exciting moment because we now realize that Boba Fett is back. Uh, and so at first, we don't really know, you know, what his purpose is going to be here. Uh, but then he has a conversation with Mando about getting his armor back. Um, so he really is not there. Uh, you know, initially, you might think he's there to to try to get Grogu, but he's actually not there for that reason at all. He's there um, to get his armor back, which is inside of the Razor Crest. Um, so Boba Fett um, is is on the planet and, and speaking with Mando, and then here comes a ship landing, and it's full of stormtroopers. So now it's a battle between uh, Boba Fett, Mando, and... Um, and so there's stormtroopers coming in, shooting, and there's a lot of activity. It's a really exciting um, scene um, as you see Boba Fett and engage um, the stormtroopers. Um, and then also Mando, you know, taking out some as well. And so then you see uh, Boba Fett uh, kind of start to realize that there, uh, a second ship of stormtroopers lands and he realizes that they're uh, pretty much overpowered at this point. So he gets, goes back into the Razor Crest, gets his armor, and comes back out and just starts kicking butt, shooting people, throwing people around. I mean, it's just, they really gave Boba Fett justice here. Um, you know, I, I didn't think they really ever gave Boba Fett the justice uh, that he deserved in the original movies. And I don't think that was purposeful. I just think that the storyline of the original Star Wars uh, movies was more focused on Anakin Skywalker and Luke Skywalker and their family. Um, but Boba Fett, you know, obviously he's one of the best bounty trackers in the unit in the uh, galaxy for a reason. And so they they just really gave him justice here. So I was really happy to see that. And so then uh, you see some dark troopers fly in from above the atmosphere um, and they are coming down to get Grogu. Uh, at this point, Grogu has stopped his force uh, projection on the scene stone. And like normal, after he's used the force, he's very tired. Um, so he's kind of laying over and the dark troopers swoop down and grab up Grogu and take him back up to a ship that's above the atmosphere. Uh, and that ship has Moff Gideon on it. So 
since Mando and Boba Fett were working together uh, and basically saved, uh, you know, helped save his life, um, now Boba Fett is indebted, uh, has a life debt, and he's willing to help Mando until he can get Grogu back, basically. Um, you see a shot from above that also hits the Razor Crest ship and completely blows it up. Um, so Mando doesn't have a ship anymore. Um, so they do uh, ride off in the Slave One. Um, so Mando, Mando is now traveling with Boba Fett. And I think that's so cool to see these two working together. Like it's, uh, it's almost like this redemption story uh, for Boba Fett because he was kind of, even though he's, you know, just a bounty hunter that's hired, but he was for the most part working uh, for the Empire in the original movies. And now he's uh, actually, you know, working more so on a good side of things. So it's, it's really almost like a, a redemption story for Boba Fett. Uh, so then they pan into uh, up on the ship where Grogu is at. And you kind of see him in a room just throwing stormtroopers around with a force. Um, you can definitely tell that Grogu has been trained to use the force. Uh, but uh, similar to his other... Uh, and it could be where he's cut himself off from the force for so long. But after he uses the force, he gets really tired. He basically sloops... Uh, you know, kind of lays over, you know, almost like he's going to fall asleep where he's just exhausted from using the force. Um, so Moff Gideon is kind of playing around with him at this point and he walks up to him and ignites the dark saber uh, and basically is kind of toying around with Grogu asking him if he remembers swords, lightsabers, uh, which obviously he probably does. He was trained in Coruscant under under uh, several different teachers so i'm sure he's seen lightsabers probably used them at some point um so this is kind of where the uh the story or this particular chapter ends uh, it's going to be exciting to see where they go from here with it uh you know is ahsoka going to show back up to help mando and boba fett get grogu back or is Luke Skywalker possibly going to show up with this force calling that he did, that Grogu did on the Seeing Stone, uh, or another Jedi, like uh, Ezra or somebody like that. Like, it's just exciting to see uh, Star Wars uh, in this light again. It's, it's almost like I I'm a kid again watching it back when I was younger. Like, you can just really tell that um, Star Wars is back to where it used to be, um, and there, this Mandalorian platform is just a really good thing for Star Wars. Uh, a lot of people don't realize this, but Star Wars actually has over a billion fans in the on the Earth. That's a sixth of the planet. Um, so you know when you uh, make movies or make uh, you know a series and it. And it's just really not the direction of, you know, where Star Wars probably should have went. Maybe they just, I think Disney realizes that they made some mistakes. Uh, but I think they're, I just, I think they're back on par now. Uh, Filoni and Favreau, they, they're just the ones to really take the reins, I think, going forward. Um, they just, they have the right uh, perspective and they know what the fans want to see. Um, so this has been a video about uh, Chapter 6, Season 2 of The Mandalorian. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you haven't already joined my channel, please join down below and subscribe. Leave it a like if you liked the video or leave me a comment. Thank you for joining and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.